welcome to another edition of computer tutorials today we will look at how you can use uh, the different useful shortcut keys in word that you might not know about we will also look at uh, how you can look up the various shortcut keys as well as putting in your own personal shortcut keys for uh, functions of Microsoft words that uh, you regularly use so what do we mean by the different shortcut keys? Uh, they are things like Control C and Control V, which are cut and paste. Uh, pretty much everyone is familiar with that. So if we select Welcome to, hit Control C, we go over here, and we hit Control V, we should paste it over there. Now let's like look at Control A, Control Z, and Control Y. Control A, you select all. Control Z is undo a task. Control Y to redo a task. So what Control A does is it selects everything in the Word document you're opening. Let's say I do that and I accidentally hit delete. So I realized I made a mistake. So I want to undo it. So I hit Control Z, which undo the deletion. And then let's say I really want to delete it, so I want to redo the delete. Hit Control Y, it deletes everything. Now you can always go to Edit, and then let's expand it here, and then you can do undo whatever um, task you just did, and essentially you did a Control Z over there. Let's look at the next shortcut, which is Shift Shift F3, which is cycle through the different upper and lower cases. So if you just like the text here, you hit Shift F3 you get every single word to be uh, uppercase. You hit Shift F3 again. Every single word is lowercase. You hit Shift F3 again. The first words in the sentences are capitalized. Okay, now let's look at the next shortcut key, which is Control Bracket. Either Control Open Bracket or Close Bracket, which increase or decrease uh, the font size. So let's select the text here, and then I hit Control uh, Close Bracket. It will increase the font size. Now you notice the font is now 18 points. It was 16 points before. If you hit Control Open Bracket, it will bring the font down. In this case, it brings the fonts down to 16 points. All right. Now you can also make your own shortcut key, which we will look at in a second. So you can also make your own shortcut keys. Um, you can either make your own keys or look up existing keys. What you do is you go to Tools, Customize, Keyboard. On the left, you see Categories. Right, you see Commands. With these two, you can look up the different functions of Word and see what shortcut keys are, are assigned to them. Let's see, Format Bold. So obviously, Control B and Control Shift B will make a text bold. Let's see if we can um, find a shortcut key to make a text red. So you go to Format, and then you find Color. Here it is. You find a color you like, let's say red. Drop down there, click red. So nothing is assigned to it yet, so let's see if we can put Control R for this uh, function. Nope, it's not available because it's currently assigned to right paragraph. Let's try something else. Let's try Shift R. Um, Shift R is not going to show up. So Control Shift R. It's unavailable. What about Alternate Control R? It's unavailable either. It's assigned to the register mark. Um, control Alternate Shift R. Now this one is unassigned, meaning you can use this one for the red function. So you click Assign there, and then hit Close here. Close this also. And let's see if we can make this text red. Control alternate shift R. Voila. Now you have the red text there. Now let's say you want to remove that to free that shortcut key for something else. So you have to do is you go back to tool customize keyboard and then find um, format. color red click on there and just click remove so you have removed control alternate shift R from the red color function now it's available for you to use it in something different
This concludes our video tutorial. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoy it. Please help us spread the word about computertutorials.org and please visit our website for more video tutorials.